Hello everybody, bum 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 bum, here is Chris, the comic book nerd, bum bum bum, hello all you YouTube comic book nerds! Hey everybody, how's it going? Chris here, finally, uh, getting a video for you guys after quite a while. Uh, just simply I don't have any money to buy my book, so I haven't been doing anything lately. Um, and, uh, I do have one comic book coming in the mail though. Um, and I won't be able to have any money until the end of this month to actually uh, purchase some, and then of course it'll be a little while till they ship to me. Uh, but anyways, today, right now, this video is uh, a package unboxing. This one actually comes from uh, the great Lord Polly, and uh, I'll tell you how this package came about. Um, this was actually some stuff I sent to him, and then it got returned. Um, the great Lord Polly, he doesn't have any videos uploaded, but uh, he's a person who's been quite active in the uh, comic book community anyways, and a memorable person, and actually a little while ago he purchased um, the uh, that really thick Ninja Turtles uh, book that I had for sale um, a little while ago, so uh, with that sale that's what contributed to um, the money that went to, uh, where it is now, up on the shelf there, but anyways, uh, his purchase of that graphic novel went towards um, the purchase of my giant size uh, X-Men, so uh, thank him for that for sure, and anybody else who had ever bought anything from me off of eBay. Uh, but anyways, here is some comic books um, that I sent to him uh, just before the uh, Toronto uh, Comic Con, I can't remember, the Toronto Fan Expo, I think it's called, and that took place... Um, on the 25th to 28th, I believe, um, of August, and so uh, he ended up offering, because of course he knew I couldn't go to Toronto for that, he ended up offering if he if uh, I wanted to send him some stuff to get signed there, so uh, I definitely took him up on the offer, looked at the list of who was uh, all attending, and just a ton of great, great uh, stuff, so he was able to get some for me. Um, and I don't know, he kind of hinted at some little extra goodies, so <laughs> I don't know, we'll see if see if that's in there. Um, but yeah, this will be exciting to see the signatures that uh, got returned. Um, Scott, question Bromstar, he also attended uh, the show as well. I think he only went for one day, though, I think. Um, and Polly, when I was talking to him on YouTube, he was saying, though, every time he saw a beard, he was, he was looking for Scott. So uh, that would be kind of funny if, if you guys would have been able to... Um, see each other and make a video. But anyways, yeah, so that's that. Let's uh, get to the unboxing here and uh, see this really cool stuff that I'm excited. This package is actually about a week overdue. It came with a tracking number um, and it was supposed to be here supposedly by the tracking number on the the 9th of September, uh, but the tracking number showed that as of the 11th it was still in Mississauga, which was only an hour away from uh, where Polly is, and uh, and then just this morning the tracking number finally uh, showing up that it was in Barhead, so I knew it would be here at lunchtime. Um, so yeah, really excited to open it up. Some good packaging by Polly. <laughs> so I knew I made sure I got the scissors. So we have a box in the bag, nothing in the bag, nothing in the bag! We have a good, uh, good packing, looks tight. I like these, uh, boxes as well. Good boxes. And obviously it looks, you see something like a tag has been ripped off there. I reuse my bags whenever I buy from eBay, too. I reuse my boxes and cardboards and stuff like that. Save them up, you know you're going to end up sending packages. Excuse me for a moment. Some Dr. Pepper. I'm making you guys wait a little bit, eh? Getting excited. Let me get a bite of this. Mmm. Good pizza. It's my lunchtime. And I'm eating some leftover pizza for my son's birthday this weekend. His birthday was on September 17th. Which is another reason why I don't have much money. Because all my money, leftover money, went to uh, my son. Great birthday, second birthday, it was awesome. <laughs> So he 
there's a note here. It says, read me. So I should probably read it. So it says, Dear Chris, consider this a random act of kindness from one comic fan to another. I hope to, I hope, yeah, I hope you dig the books and the gift I threw in. Cheers. Woohoo! Polly. And then uh, he has a little, little Batman head there. The goddamn Batman approves. <laughs> P.S. Hope, hope you can read my writing. Yeah, I stuttered through it, but <laughs> yeah. So there you go. So that's awesome. So woo, let's see what's in it. Oh, gotta use the scissors again. Let me scratch. Oh, nice. Nice. That is certainly a good start. Nice. Let me be in awe of it for a moment. That is freaking wicked. That is freaking wicked. <laughs> okay, this is the uh, Fan Expo, Expo exclusive um, Captain America issue one. That is freaking sweet. You guys can see it, hopefully it's not glaring too much. But that is freaking wicked. I love seeing Wolverine have a uh, Canadian shield. Just different types of shields that all kind of look like Captain America's. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That is a really good exclusive. Uh, on the back here, I actually sent them this to... This was the Gargoyles DVD cover. There was Kurt Leonard there, what, uh, um, the designer, one of the designers, or main designers, who was Canadian from uh, the Gargoyles TV show uh, cartoon. It was by far my favorite uh, Disney, but unfortunately I don't think he was seeing in a message that he couldn't get his uh, signature on that one. That's wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Okay, so we have here... This is one of the books. So, like I say, that Captain America number one, that was a gift from him. That was really awesome. I love that. This was a book that I sent to him. Um, some of my FF books. There was about three or so persons um, at the show that worked on some of these FFs. So, he was able to get a few. Um, let's see here. So it looks like Silver is uh, Marco uh, Derjevic here, who of course did the uh, beautiful variant covers. Epting, Far Right, so this, yeah, Steve Epting um, right there. And uh, Hickman, I guess that's supposed to be Hickman there, little, little scribbles. So Derjevic, um, Hickman, and Steve Epting. So that is really wicked getting um, three, um, you know, three signatures on one book. I think that is amazing. You've got cover artist, interior artist, and the writer. So that's really beautiful. So that's what we have there on that one. That was issue one. We have issue two with, uh, again, all three of uh, them, Derjevic, Epting, and uh, Hickman. It's always good to get a little list. I appreciate that too, uh, Paulie. Because, uh, I mean, you look some of these guys, they just got this little, you know, quick little scribble you can't even tell. Um, so, issue number two with three signatures on it. We have issue number three with uh, three of the signatures on it there as well. And, uh, yeah. So, this one it looks like it's got the same on there as well. So issue number four, it looks like it's got all three of those signatures as well, worker of uh, people who worked on it. But I think the one thing is I think the interiors are actually different on this one. I don't think that's uh um I don't think that's Epping on there, but yeah. 
still three signatures on it. <laughs> but I don't think uh, I don't think Epting worked on issue number four at all. I don't think. No. There might be some of his just on the epilogue page or whatever. There might be some of his artwork though. Uh, yeah. So he's got here. I think his marker was running out. Um, so it is a little faded a little bit, um, but this is this is my uh, Dynamic Forces variant of Hulk issue number one, um, and the cover was done by Dale Keown, who was Canadian as well, and his signature is right there. It does look a little run out. <laughs> I like this note on here. This is funny. I guess this is one that he wasn't able to uh, get a signature from either. This was a... Uh, Alex Ross Dynamic Forces variant that I had uh, that I wanted to get uh, Dan Slot to get a signature on it, um, but unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, according to Paul, Dan Dan Slot is a bastard. <laughs> um, I think he wanted to get some stuff from him too. So, so unfortunately, great writing from uh, Dan Slot, of course, on the Amazing Spider-Man stuff right now. But yeah, <laughs> so unfortunately, couldn't get any signatures on that one. Um, and the last one here, really beautiful, um, the Joe Quezada black and white uh, variant of Venom issue number one, and uh, signed by Tony Moore, who did the uh, interiors, um, and has just been doing a fantastic job on the Venom series. So that is some, some of my uh, signed stuff, and special gift from the great Lord Polly. Um, so signatures came from the Toronto uh, Fan Expo. That was in the end of August, so, man, those are some beautiful stuff. That's awesome uh, add that to my uh, growing collection of uh, signature um, comic books. Um, so, again, thank you very much, Great Lord Polly. That was really amazing. Um, it just sucks that uh, it took over an extra week to get here. <laughs> you know, and coming right off of a Canadian postal strike, um, you know, and it taking an extra week, you know. Dan Slot might be a bastard, but I think so is the... Uh, Canadian postal system right now. <laughs> Alright, so that's that, you guys. Let me go uh, eat my lunch, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.